All right, hello and good beautiful morning everyone. Welcome back. So currently we're at Salty Bay Provincial Park and someone is checking into the campsite that we're in. Not today, but tomorrow. And we want to stay here for at least two more nights, we're thinking. So we're going to walk down there now and see who's checking out today. We saw there might be one really nice site down by the ocean side that's opening up. So we're going to go look around a bit. We kind of do want to stay in this site, but again, if someone's checking in, we can't. So let's go for a walk and see what we find. Campsite 18, this is the one we were looking at yesterday and it's actually open so we gotta get back to the RV and pack up real quick, put our slide in and everything, but look at this, you're on the top of the hill, got a little bit of light that actually gets through the forest, it's not as dense on this end of the loop, and that can be our little spot for the next two nights, so let's hurry back to the RV, pack up, put the slide in and get down here quick. This campsite's right near the end of Salty Bay Provincial Park's campground loop. There's one campsite there, which is good, because then the next spot is kind of the day use parking down the road and where you can take it to get down to the ocean side. So we're not right on the busy part. We're up on a little bit of a peak of a hill. The sun can actually get through all these trees and get us a bit of light today. It's not as dense as a forest. And look at all the space. Someone even left us a little bit of firewood. So maybe we'll do a fire tonight. Good trade-up, I would say. This was the plan all along, but... Nice. Is this a new campsite? All right, since you've asked so nicely so many times, let's go outside. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, at least. Every morning she begs to go outside, let alone at a new campsite. Let's go. Do you work for BC Parks? Gotta get all the germs off. <laughs> That's right. Actually, just the dirt. It's like kids and dirt. Germs, dirt, both equal threats while camping. Alrighty, so we're making breakfast outside this morning, and if you guessed that we're having crepes for breakfast again, you'd be correct. One of our German viewers, they suggested that we put bananas and Nutella in our crepes, and that sounds delicious because over in Asia and like Thailand and Bali, they would serve crepes like on the side of the road. And that's one of the most common things that we saw there. And we only got it like once, right? Yeah, I think once on Gilear. Yeah, we got the Nutella and banana crepes once and it was so good. So we definitely need to get some, but well, we have bananas, but we don't have Nutella. So definitely got to do that. perfect sunny afternoon. We are now going to head down to the ocean. Everyone seems to be heading down there. It's a popular beach spot with towels and all. So I think that's what this provincial park is known for is its ocean front. So we're going to go check that out here now and take advantage of this glorious sunny day we're having. You're on RV garden duty, buddy. It's only a 200 meter beach walk as well, as opposed to China Beach is like one and a half, was it? Yeah, kilometers. <laughs> yeah, one and a half kilometers. So 200 meters, definitely take that. That's a perk. That was a super nice ocean view down there actually. Looks like the tide is actually out right now, so go down tonight, maybe we'll get a nice sunset with a beautiful day we can hope for, and then also check when the tide's up, because the pictures online showed the tide's way higher on the rocks, and you could see where all the kind of seaweed and stuff was too, so that should be worth it. 
But now, to enjoy the campsite a bit more. I meant to point this out earlier too, but we put our awning out just a little bit so that when the sun is shining down, it hits this, the awning gives us shade down the RV, and then it keeps the RV a much better temperature as well. Pro Strat. All right, so now that our campsite is a bit more shaded, we're actually going to get our workout in. And we just recently realized that we've never really showed you how we work out in the RV. So if you remember last year when we did our cross Canada trip, we relied on Anytime Fitnesses to get our workouts in. Those are some angry squirrels. <laughs> Anyways, we were driving through a different city pretty much every day and a lot of those cities had an Anytime Fitness. So we just used our membership and would stop by an Anytime Fitness that was convenient for us and get a workout and also a free shower, which was a good bonus. But um, this year, we're not really going through as many cities. We're definitely traveling a lot slower and the cities that we are going through don't necessarily even have an Anytime Fitness available. So we've actually packed up our weights with us, well, some of our weights, and we're getting workouts in campsites and I mean, it's kind of limited where you can actually get a full workout outside with our weights where like you're not looking like a weirdo, like we're obviously not doing this in like parking lots and stuff like that, but when we do have a campsite, it's really nice to bring it all out and get a workout in and it's a good time. So this is kind of our setup. So we keep these exercise mats just underneath our bed mattress and it's just a nice place to like put your weights and if you're working out like in a boondocking spot where we don't have our actual like rug out we'll just put this down and it's a good place to work out and then we keep this bar this barbell um just alongside our bed lengthwise right beside the mattress so everything really packs up easily and doesn't take up too much space and as far as weights go we have two 15 pound dumbbells and also two 25 pound dumbbells and then to go on the barbell, we have some weights here. We have two 10 pounds, two five pounds, two two and a half pounds. And we also did pack two 25 pound weights, but I just didn't bring those out because I won't be using them today. So I figured that's too much work. And then we have this bucket here just full of resistance bands, different weights, different styles. We've got some that are just the regular band type. We've got this one, which is like a long one. <laughs> And then some of these where it's just like a circle, little resistance bands. So a bunch of different resistance bands as well, which is always really helpful. And that's all we use. We honestly get a really good workout just from like the weights that we do have here and just doing more reps and stuff like that. Um, sometimes we'll just do body weight workouts. Sometimes we will bust out the weights and really get like a full weight training day. But having the resistance bands and the weights and that kind of stuff it also gives a lot of variety you can kind of choose like what type of workout you want to do if you want to do more of like higher reps and resistance bands you can do that or even some heavier weights we do have you know 25 pounds it's not that light so it works especially on the road so yeah anyways i'm tired before even starting this workout now but let's get into it and of course kitty cat loves to join us outside when we're working out don't get looped around the chair or anything too crazy, okay? And that completes the workout. I've got a little bit of a part two coming up here. I'm gonna split a bit of firewood, have a bit of a small little campfire tonight maybe, but that workout works for us. A little bit of body weight, a little bit of a pump up. It's not like our old days. Those of you that maybe knew us a few years ago knew we were pretty active in the gym and I was definitely a little bit bigger to say the least, but it's a good on the road workout. We also have the hot water heater going, so there'll be warm water for a shower after all this. And it's about six o'clock here now. So six to eight is the evening generator hours. So we're gonna run the generator while we shower because A, we need a bit of battery from the laptop today, but B, the water pump actually uses a lot of power as well. So. If you can just plan on doing your shower the same time you're going to use the generator, at least then the water pump draws off the generator and you can save a little bit of extra power. Pro tip for you. But we're going to get cracking here, cut some wood, have some dinner, and then turn it into a pretty nice little golden hour here, so maybe it'll be a nice sunset too. I want to start up something new. I want to see things I have never seen before. I'm tired of these cities. quite catch 
almost like a sunset, like the sun's over there somewhere, but it's such a beautiful sky and that gradient, unreal. So nice. The tide's up so much more than earlier too. I can't believe how much the tide changed here. I mean, yeah. Some of the spots we've been at the ocean only changes a little bit, but way up this time. While we're down here, there's actually a little bit of data to use as well. Our campsite, a lot of these campsites out here have had really bad to no data. So I'm trying to get back to all of you on the comments right now on my phone. So sorry in advance if we don't get back to you. I try and get it in under a day if possible. Either go for a walk and try and find a little sweet spot of data. Or if we're passing through town, I try and catch up real quick. But I do try and get back to you as fast as possible. But obviously when we're boondocking or camping out in the wilderness, sometimes data is a bit of a problem here in Canada. But I appreciate all your comments and I am getting back to you as best I can. So thank you for your patience. <laughs> Fire time! Woo. Got my wood cut earlier after the workout. Just whip up some strips to get the fire lit up for a second here. Ready to roll, folks. I'm just really sad that we don't have any more Reese's cups to make like those really, really good s'mores. <laughs> no treats tonight. Alrighty friends, and with the spooky lighting of the fire, I think that's going to conclude today's video here. Yeah, because tomorrow we're taking the ferry already. It feels like we just, well we pretty much just did take a ferry More to the Sunshine Coast, to Powell River. But we're taking the ferry now from Saltry Bay to... I don't actually know what the <laughs> port is on the other side, but it's the southern part of the Sunshine Coast. So that'll be our next video. Yeah, there's kind of two portions. We're going to cross over there go see the famous Chuck Rapids and a few things on the other side, so should be eventful. But we will catch you in the next adventure there then. Be sure to leave a like down below if you had enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you on Ferry Day then otherwise, friends. Good night, and until next time. See ya! Bye!